Do us both a favor and keep your mouth shut. Huh? Hey, wait, hey, wait. I told you to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Fuck, he can jump. Where am I? Silence, stop here, man! Nothing appears to be more than creatures that can somehow speak, despite having no concept of how to properly discuss the topic. No, this subhuman. Question me in any way is a punishable offense. It's a subhuman? It's Dr. Anderson. But some subhumans have the capability of coincidentally inducing positive effects, which are the pattern I'm currently observing. Good one. Thank you, look at your god, as your subhumans as you. You subhumans are so quick to do. And now, behold! Feast your eyes on these relics. This is only a better term for them, I know, but this will do for now. Alone, each relic is equivalent to nothing more than a piece of garbage. No, they are garbage, plain and simple. But when all fear utilize in unison, what do they create? A prime example of shocking, astonishing science! And so, I hereby name the scientific phenomenon, the Trinity Incredibles! Trinity what now? I'll decide a special name later. There are more important things to deal with. Yes, it makes perfect sense. Now that I've come all the way out here to the United Kingdom, I'll use an empirical approach to tease out the secrets of the Trinity is Fuck, I hate this. Trinity game incredibly this. Open these turbulent eyes of yours and watch closely stuff you men. Okay, he's way worse than I thought. Yeah, I hate voicing him. Jesus Christ. You're gonna kill him, aren't you? You are. Oh, fuck. Exposure experiment one completed. Confirming transformations of specimen A and B. Effects witnessed on specimen X. Proceeding to exposure experiment two. Exposure experiment two completed. Confirming new forms of specimens A and B. No effects witnessed on specimen X. End of Your face and your voice had to just not mix. The driving force that allows you, subhumans, to live your days in peace and happiness. As you can see, this ray only affects those who hail from this town. But through repeated experimentation, I will quickly acquire the answer to this mystery. For that is the power of science. Science. Science! If every human could transform into an animal, every last societal problem would disappear in a flash. We could turn all the unproductive subhumans like you into cats and dogs, solving the world's population and hunger problems. And that's only the beginning. 
next? We'd employ militaristic might against ignorant savages who deny... This guy's a total psycho. Sup, human? Are you listening to me? No. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, I'm listening. I can only have the required number of specimens. I need a wider variety, variety of samples. And you will bring them to me. Samples? I just gave you an order. We made several more times with me at once. Seriously? But that's abduction. Don't you dare try and reinterpret my words. My orders using different words. I'll not allow you to waste another second of my time. For it would cause the entire human race to suffer. Your ignorance is nothing short of a betrayal of my all mankind. Uh, but this is your last mission. My completion, Morning Mail News will award you amply for your performance. Wait, you mean... That's right. You'll be able to pay off your entire debt. All you need to do is obey my orders. Put your task a good Robert Wood. An ideal job for any subhuman, wouldn't you agree? Let's imagine it. Imagine what could happen in a world where humans are free to change into dogs and cats whenever they wish. You'd be able to track each other's pee? <laughs> An uncharacteristically sharp assertion in the subhuman. What if detection dogs you see in airports could actually converse with elite narcotics agents? And what if police dogs could speak with very veteran officers? No. Well, if they were the veteran officers themselves! Yeah, it might be cool. <laughs> Looks like you're finally starting to understand the true potential of true sub- Incredible, let's, let's raise up, human! And you should go about saying that this invention will only continue to contribute millions of dollars to great science! And when it becomes a commodity, those who assisted in discovering and researching the relics may even earn something! I could put in a condition for you, you know. If I remember, that is. As long as you do a good job, is that it? It appears as though you're finally going to understand your place in the machine, subhuman. In which case, there is no more time to waste. In the following free specimen, following free specimen at once. Well, which one are you going to get first? Make up your mind. For the, sake of the highly intelligent specimen. Do note that the term highly intelligent is only used in a comparative sense. I very well have it. Let's go. I have always asked about my physical advantage. Just a sample of David O'Reilly. She's only one choice. But her name is Charlie Smith. Now go and get to work, stop man. Charlie Smith? Who the hell is that? And you call yourself a researcher? Those are the alias. Elias Norlock Homeless in this insular community. Oh, that guy. Telling you found a prime subject from the bar of Elizabeth. Maybe you were waiting for to learn him out. Get further off him, me seeing the Elizabeth chair. You use that to convince him. Am I off his correct? It has a soft spot for those my She like that spot, he will do whatever you ask of him. Hmm. Fine. What are you standing around for, stop him man? Have you ever heard the saying time is money? You want to put that in once? Yes, yes, it's quite the wheelchair. The large, it could allow anyone to travel to highways without a license. In fact, I can hardly believe that a president's company could have been made in this rustic steed! Stein! Stein! Goddamn hellhole. Once that man's scientist pays up my debt, I'm severing all ties of him. I know what to do his dirty work right now. I just to be a little impatient. I'll be falling to be free. Free of debt hell is help last. You have no choice, Naomi. Get your chin up and get this done. I just want to make sure I talk to him. There's stuff here. Oh, breakables. Okay. I must break everything. Gun! Oh, hell yeah. 
I'm taking that with me. I can't take it with me. I can't take the gun with me. Damn you! Hey, hey this isn't the poor woman Sherlock. I uh, got something to uh, tell you if you uh, kick up your tongue, dear Hayward. It appears as if you're under a great deal of stress. Hide the secret, are we? Well, that was quick. Yeah, you got me. The truth is... Out with it now! Imagine you're at a confessional. I might have figured out who killed Elizabeth. Hmm. Well, I simply can't know Ali like that. If you wish to have me spring into action, just show me your f proof. Bleeding Nora! Yep, pretty damn photo. Isn't it? What's this chap doing in Elizabeth's chair? William would never give it up. And besides, it's important evidence. How did this happen? How? Right, thank you for this intriguing piece of evidence. I feel I may need to look into this in greater detail on my own. I'll be in contact again later. I had no choice, right? God damn hellhole. Well, here's the lab. A subhuman is only as good as its method in which its master utilizes it. That's why I always say. I see you finally found the first specimen. What are you waiting for? Look to the other team right now. You still have two left to find. Which one to go after next? For the, sake of the exceptional specimen. It's hard to find much variety in a bland, prehistoric verse such as this, but so be it. My men should do just fine. It's but be do fine as my average adult male female specimen. And now the exceptional specimen I need is Lynette Burley. Now go and get to work here, stop your men. How is Lynette exceptional? If you're asking me, there isn't one normal person in the entire town, but still. Imbecile! If your barn beers are nothing but the, the epitome of mediocrity, any variance is a sliver of natural deviation. But on that possesses monstrous shape that is foreign to most females. She is deserving of special attention. Um, that's what we call gender bias, in case you didn't know. Stop, human! How dare you accuse me of being sexist? When I say gender, I mean gender is being seen from a biological perspective, physical, and mental advantages. I said in which to thoroughly analyze, analyze all our mental like influence. Fuck me. Future tested results, and nothing more! Still one of her sheep booking here. Once that finds out that her sheep is here, she to her own accord. You would be wise to go with the sheep, with the sheep when everyone else is asleep. I was secret ex. ex prepared for it. Alright, alright, jeez. What are you standing around here for? Stop here, man! I already read that. <sighs> I have to do this at night. Got it. What if I go there now? Actually, where the fuck? Okay. It's at the same place. The, the arrow confused me for a second. Well, the gate's open, but I really doubt I'll be able to do this. Oi. Hey! So there, sheep thief! Wait, it's you! What are you doing here, love? Um, well, uh... Th this isn't my sheep? No, of course it's not. I'm gonna make such a daft mistake. You're wrapped in some trouble, aren't you? Let's go over Michelle's tonight. Uh, no, it's okay. Thanks for the invite, though. Don't push yourself too hard, love. Lose your health. Lose everything. Guess I'll just come back at night. And that's a good person. I don't want to do this. Look, she's <laughs> lifting rates right now. Right, I need to... Let's go three hours in. I mean, it's night time. It should be the time when they turn to animals, right? We're getting close to it, at least. Hey, Douglas.
I'm a sheep stealer. How did it come to this? Relax, relax. All good. All be okay. I just have to deliver to the mad scientist. Later, hangover. Okay, that should do it. Wait, am I so sure about this? No, let's let me down myself. That mad scientist is working alone. So all of Morning Bell News backing them up. I'm trying to mess with them in the name of my own perfect little justice. Or just fire me and hire someone else to do the job. It'll be better for everyone if I handle this. Plus, if someone doesn't know anything about how this this town works. Nice job back there. If you say so. I'm heading out to Billy's farm, with the rest in your hands. The farm? But why? You your part, that's how I'm gonna do mine. Mm. You said that good work only ever follows good rest. Let's go home and rest for today. Later, dude. I wonder what keeps him so motivated to keep doing his job. Finally! At long last, you brought me the second specimen! You subhumans are such slow, unproductive creatures! Now then, I'm gonna jog your fear memory regarding the third and final specimen. For the sake of science. An, an immature specimen, in other words, I need you to bring me a filthy little brat! Do not you won't find many to choose from, as is part for the course, in the countryside of any advanced nation. In any case, it's absolutely essential that I get my hands on the immature specimen. I can't afford to be choosy here! The name of the specimen I acquire is Emma McCulley. Now go and get to work, Sam Human! If you can't afford to be choosing, then why not use the White Brothers? How do you put my ears in your opinion, Sam Human? Nonetheless, you get an upper valid point. I'll offer you a supplemental explanation just as once. Time being, I'll have to refrain from any unnecessary clashes with Redmond White. And it'll be easy to force the McCulley's to accept the offering in the form of conversation at all said and done. In addition, when Emma will also net me, Charlotte and Claire as well. Could you show your intelligence copy in this full scope of how rational choice this is? Let's feed the brat some fruit laced with catnip when she transforms into a cat. Then when she's two days to stand up straight, we we'll drag her here. It's always best it's always best still with snotlings. Be careful when feeding her. It's a tongue of a cat. Ugh. Fine. Get the fuck out of here! Acquire a meal lace of catnip. How the fuck? Well, I can't do it right now. There we go. Alright, they're finally turning. Which means... I can do this. I have it. Oh, wait. That's a better picture, honestly. Uh, teleport to shrine... They're not refilled. Well, I was kind of hoping to get the golden egg shit out of the way right now. But I guess not. One more try. Nope. Because I got enough pheasant breast to work with. Alright. I at the very least have the image. So, now, I need to wake up in the morning. And then deal with all of that bullshit. There we go. Alright. Where the fuck are you, Rita? Know me, half but Hayward. I expected you would actually join Team Dog. But I suppose it's more fitting team for someone like you. Take like a picture of George when he's a cat. Yep. My, what a nice coat of hair. Honestly, I find him stunning. You have three whole pictures of your prince now. That's enough, right? What are you talking about? Send me the one on that spy mission just because you wanted some pictures of George, didn't you? Pitching. Naomi Halfwit Hayward, you really don't understand a single thing, do you? George is an extremely jealous man. So what? If I, what if I were to say that I had no knowledge of sides to him that I very well ought to know? He would surely murder me if I had a second thought. 
and he wouldn't leave any evidence behind either. He's a doctor. He knows how these things work. You don't tell me you were actually cheating on him. Is that why you had me photograph all the sides of him that you're supposed to know about? An intriguing question. I'm not supposed to stick my nose to other people's romantic problems, but yeah, he might kill you. He really might kill you. I welcome it. Poets should not only live for love, they should also die for it. It wants to go that melodramatic crap. It just say poetry is dead and be on the merry way. Perhaps, but it wouldn't bother me. Like William, I know that my poetry likes a certain something. Dying as a common poet who was murdered by a lover due to a crime of passion is all I could ever hope for. I guarantee it will be as poetic as you're, what you're imagining. This conversation is going nowhere. Thank you for helping me out. Here's your award. You're very welcome. We know you have any honor jobs for me, bitch. Happy to spy on any prince you like as long as the financials make sense, slut. I suppose now is as good a time as any to read the new poem I wrote based on you. Poetic, Foolish half witted capitalist pig, even you can prove useful when utilized in the right manner. Yeah. Uh huh. Catch you later, saboteur. Four. <laughs> and all I have left is the fucking eggs. By the way, before I even. Do you have anything? No. Before I even worry about that. Are you here? No? Shit. I was gonna do my trial free right now. Yeah, he's fucked off. Oh well. Hey Bruno! Hello there. Good grief. Look what's for where? Let me guess, you're hungry? Good grief, I'm just a little tired. So I'm working on right now is real pain in the ass. In the witch, do you have anything of catnip in it? Catnip? Well, that's not, that's not something I want you, want you get every day. Let me figure out how to think. Right, I figured the choices might have been my stargazy pie of catnip powder or my catnip lace cinnamon pudding. <laughs> what you ask? Catnip places the cinnamon in the pudding. I'm prepared for this than I thought you would be. Well, good grief, what can I say? I'm a pro. Honestly, you won't go use my food for anything untoward. Oh, no, of course not. I promise. We need to be especially careful of those two days between a full moon and new moon. I walk around food that's got cat in it during a time like that. And the team cat might find themselves in the right old state. What are you thinking about it gives me the wobblies. Yeah. Well, I really are a pro. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. The great part of this dish that it tastes great even if it gets cold. Oh, whatever you do, if it's a cat, then all the tips you like, in for a well trouble. Yeah. Okay, okay, I owe you one. I might as well eat this shit and try to, like, you know, get the re Oh my god, that's gonna take a while. I'll solve the easy one. Alright, I got that. I might as well make sure I got these recipes. Alright, one more time. Got it. Sardines, catnip, king oyster mushroom. What about the other thing? Catnip. Mint, we're a pack and bread. Yeah, baby. I got. Yeah, baby. Hang on, I have this right. I got the mint. Yep, got the catnip. Okay, so now I just need the berries, which I should have as well. I don't have them. Well, I had some. Well, I know where to stockpile for some. 
And he's not here right now. Alright, I don't know. I'll skip a while, I guess. He's still not around. What about the shopkeep? He's still not around. Are you fucking kidding? Whatever. I know I can just leave the food here, from here. So I, I guess I'll just leave it here then. I was gonna make it myself, but I guess not. Uh, six hours. No? How about another three? I know you'll stop me eventually, game. No? Okay, whatever. I'm at the thing, so... Now, I gotta take the mill and find, um... Find our cat girl. She's over that way. Alright. Here we go. No. Once my debt gets paid off, I can finally escape this hellhole. I just did what I had to, okay? You missed the line. Absolutely missed the line. Oh, we're doing it much? <laughs> incredible! Truly incredible! Can you possibly comprehend the full club of our rebel assist of Yemen? Ah, this was a bad idea. Why are you even doing all these tests anyway? So Why? Stop him in! Is questioning the purpose of our experiments? Yes, yes. Though I happen to thoroughly enjoy some of your eight look. Allow me to explain exactly what purpose these tests will serve. I will begin by showing all the other subhumans a video of my Trinity Incredibles, Miss Ray, as many people in the dogs and cats. Then I'll have psychological experts spread the word on how this phenomenon is good for your health. Lastly, I'll have all those rotten lawyers draft up a policy that make my entire operation legally watertight. Holly, I trouble. A trifle when I think of all the subhumans who will aptly line up to land me over their hard earned money! Nope. Yeah, right. People will catch on to your scam like there is at that no time. Bury your ass in all kinds of accusations and attacks. Ridiculous. Imbecile! Why would I, I ever want to avoid that? In fact, make sure I encourage the hate! I'm gonna make use my trinity in credible sorry, as well all the subhumans in this town of the cats and dogs! And I'm gonna submit live on the internet as miraculous new treatment that save your life! Seriously? If you do that, well, some people out there who think they're so smart and clever watch my stream and say, It's fake! So obvious! Burn that asshole's account! But then another group of some humans who are willing to grasp that everything in order to sustain their health will rise up and say, They're trying to cancel this revolutionary new medicine treatment! It's conspiracy by power-hungry corporations! Do you think it'll go that smoothly? <laughs> of course it will! How would some humans react any other way? Some humans who excess funds are burning the biggest holes in their pockets will rise up and say, those bigger picks are out in the countryside and are trying to keep this miraculous treat treatment secret from the rest of us? Something that amazingly exists, I truly have to deserve to have, to have, to have, to have first tips on it because I've got the money to pay for it! <laughs> and once I decide to delete my video in my account, they will inadvertently prove the experience theory was true. Some people who wish to try this new medical treatment will instantly start to registering the moment I reveal my new facility. More and more news of stocks will skyrocket, and my research funds will multiply infinitely. And in the end, my research team will go down in history forever. You need not worry. I'm a fair man. I will ensure all who cooperate with me attain their, their own piece of the glory. Rejoice, Doctor Mian. Your name will also be recorded in the straight book of scientific history. Hell of I care.